So by using 5G connectivity, it's inherently an IP protocol, which gives us the bi-directionality to move data off the camera, certainly, but also back into the camera operator, so the camera operator can get his IFB, his audio commands, back to him so he knows what he's, he's supposed to be doing. And also, you can get video back into the unit so the camera operator and the presenting team can see what is being put out on the main programme feed. And with it being bi-directional and IP capable, it's very simple, standard IP infrastructure to set up. From a BBC perspective, we're looking at these networks because we do think that there's opportunity to deploy them to support productions, both at the scale of the Commonwealth Games, but also potentially in studios and in other environments as well. We're using a vehicle which was built and designed by our emergency services network for deployment across the country, providing coverage in really hard to reach places. What we're doing here is using a completely standard 5G cell that BT would otherwise use for the emergency services network. And because of the power of BT, we're able to bring that resource and redeploy it for a different purpose, which is to enable the BBC to carry the television footage on Wednesday, a really crowded place full of people using their mobiles. If you were to use the public 4G or 5G network to carry television, you might not be able to guarantee the pictures would work but if we build a private 5G network, we can.